All right, so I'm bringing you something a little bit different today from the aisles of Walmart. I've walked by this item probably 20 times in the past two or three months, and I finally said, let's do it. This is the Rustic Crust Big Slice. Can you eat the big slice? It's asking. Cue the intro. is up everyone it is the endorsement and it is time for another review this is where i try something and tell you if you should like it or not i can be very persuasive a big review today big review literally the big slice now i've seen this in the aisles at walmart it does not have to be refrigerated uh it is a large slice of crust check it out right there crust in the shape of a slice of pizza. How do you, big slice, they wanna know, uh, rustic crust. So I said, hey, let's get on this. Uh, this looks interesting and I was in the mood for pizza, so I'm like, why not? So uh, like I said, it does not need to be refrigerated. It was cooked at 450 degrees. They recommend eight to 12 minutes. I did it for 11 give it a little more uh, crunch possibly, uh, melted the cheese up nicely. It was bubbling there at the end. I was a really big fan of that. I could hear it bubbling. I could smell the cheese. Uh, I only went with pepperoni to kind of keep it simple. It is a big slice. So it is basically a pepperoni sliced pizza, 15 inches long, I think is what they say on the back of the box. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. Let's check this bad boy out. Here we go. All right, it's off camera. It's coming into focus. Check this out. That is a big slice. Wow, look at that. Pepperoni and cheese goodness right there. Whew, all right, so uh, where do I begin? Probably the uh, end right there. So interesting, in the ingredients on this, it did say uh, there was, I think, garlic powder, uh, maybe oregano. So the crust is seasoned a little bit. You can kind of see it a little bit in there right there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Excited to try this out. Ooh, look at that. It's the big slice. The... Yeah. All right, so let's check it out. The big slice from, uh, what is it, Rustic Oven? Let's go. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention $4.29 just for the crust. I obviously added my own cheese, sauce, and pepperoni. Let's go. Ooh. That's good. All right, so one bite in, I'm gonna tell you this. Sometimes things like this are just gimmicks. Sometimes these things are just put out there. They're like, hey, big slice, but no. After the first bite, the flavors inside this crust, nice. A little bit of oregano. I even uh, tasted Parmesan a little bit. I don't know if my mind is playing tricks on me. Ghetto boys. Um, but I enjoy that. And I definitely enjoy the garlic flavor as well. So it's not just like a plain crust. It actually adds to the flavor of the pie. Look at that check it out i think i kept that in for a perfect amount of time got some of the pepperoni started to curl there look at that all right second bite this thing is nice it is nice yeah that's so good and the cheese melted perfectly on this bad boy i went with the great value um part skim low moisture mozzarella and uh it worked perfectly i went with the uh hormel shout out hormel hormel pepperoni i'm gonna take one more bite we're gonna give this a rating this thing is legit two words legit all right and it's holding up nicely too look holding this shaking it all around moving and shaking Eating a big slice. All right, one more bite. All right, so final breakdown. I enjoyed that a lot. For $4 and change, add a little bit more for the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni. I'm okay with it because I made it with my own two hands. I put the stuff on, put it in the oven, 
Okay, I did what I needed to do, uh, but I really enjoyed that. The flavor of the crust made it stand out uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to. And I know it's not the most exciting slice of pizza. Uh, I only put the pepperoni on it, but because it was so big and I really wanted to hold it and showcase it for you, I just went with the minimal topping there. But definitely if I ever get this again, I will add more toppings. So let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the big slice from the rustic oven. Let me make sure I'm getting that right. Rustic crust, not rustic oven. Rustic crust. I'm going to give that a rating of. That's a 90. That is a straight up 90. That's a nine out of 10 for all you keeping score at home, logging it into your endorsement notebooks. I 100% endorse that. That gets the uh, stamp of approval. I am a fan of that. I'm glad I finally uh, took the plunge. Like I said, I've walked down the aisles. I've seen it all the time. I never pulled the trigger, so I was glad that I did. Uh, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. I don't know, about 1,400 strong, I think. All right. So let me know, comments below, have you tried this? Have you seen this in the aisles of Walmart? And you're like, whoa, first of all, that's not refrigerated. Second of all, what is this? The big slice and you just kept on walking? Don't walk anymore. If you see it, buy it, fully endorsed. That's it. All right, bonus footage. Let me just tell you what I will be adding to this uh, after the review. A little bit of Frank's Red Hot on the top of that bad boy.